create a uh, environment that is supportive and nurturing and safe so that students can fail, they can take risks and discover who they are as artists, what kind of artists they want to be. I like to think of our students as scholars, artists, and practitioners. I say to the students all the time, I have no idea how to teach you how to act, but what I do know, what I have spent my life preparing for, is the ability to offer incredibly high-level opportunities so our students can develop as scholars, artists, and practitioners. You get a broader education that you would at a strictly arts high school while still getting the arts opportunities here that you wouldn't get at just a STEM high school. This program has been finessed and refined over more than a decade now. These faculty members work really closely and they each bring a bit of professional experience with them in their respective fields, from our choreography dance teacher to our acting and uh, playwriting instructors. They all bring with them a piece of professional experience, but also a good amount of time working in this program and they know what works best for the students and what gets them to achieve their maximum potential. We focus on the process of learning. Each student self-evaluates, self-analyzes, and works on their technique where they are. The first words that we talk about in the Theatre Academy are words like community, family, ensemble. Theatre families, I think, also applies to the Academy as a whole because we're, we're very close and very connected, especially because we are so small. And so it's, it's really great because in coming to BCA, I personally was scared I wasn't going to make any friends. And the Theatre Academy has just been so welcoming and so warm. And they're some of my best friends now. Every aspect of art making in our department is based in research combined with a real world understanding of the industry today. Last year, a number of them went to London. We went on a class trip. While we were in London, we enjoyed a high tea. Later, that knowledge comes right back into the classroom where they are taking high tea in the middle of their Oscar Wilde scene. So for students who come to BCA not wanting to act, but knowing that they want to be a part of these productions, there are a multitude of things that they can do. They can stage manage, which means that they get to work behind the scenes and they get to be as much a part of the production as any actor, but without actually having to do any acting. There's stagecraft, which means you get to help with the set and such. And there's design for theater. And there's also costuming, and you can help costume the show, which is a really cool thing to do. Dance at BCA is a lot of fun because there are mixed levels. Um, so there are the students who have been dancing since they were two, and then there are also the students who are just taking their first ballet class in their lives. So you get to really find your level and work on yourself. I learned that I don't want to be just an actor from this process. I learned that I also want to direct and write, which I didn't think I was going to... At freshman year, I came into the school saying I want to go to BCA for theater so that I can go to college for a BFA and be an actor. I've been in 10 productions over my course of my time here at BCA. Uh, I've done four musicals, two plays, and three sets of one acts. I've had the opportunity to do comedy, tragedy, Shakespeare, musical theater, you name it. BCA has given me the opportunity to do it, um, which I don't think I would have gotten at any other high school. So the stage itself is just incredible. To be up on that stage and to be able to perform is awe-inspiring. And they bring in so many professionals who are so dedicated to the craft and want to help us learn and grow as theater artists.